Hey, uh, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to a Monday live stream. We've been away for a little over a week, and you may be able to tell that my voice is, uh, it's a little hoarse, <clears throat> because, I don't know, I, uh, I caught something on, on the way back from the trip. I don't know if it's a cold, a flu, or COVID, or what it is, uh, but I'm running a fever. I got a, uh, stuffy nose, coughing, all that kind of good stuff. Throat doesn't actually hurt today, but it does sound really weird. It feels very muffled, so I don't know. But I really wanted to stream because I haven't seen you guys in a while, and I was looking forward to it. And this game, uh, Bellatro, uh, just came up on my radar. It was released um, just a few days ago, I think, and it looks really, really good. It is a roguelike or roguelite deck building poker game it actually reminds me a lot of um luck be a landlord which is a roguelite deck building slot machine game uh which is really really fun i've always really enjoyed it uh both those games are really cheap so um but yeah we're gonna take a look at blatra today i did um originally intend to start some sort of maybe a longer term game you know, like a like a sieve or an EU4 or Hoi4 or something like that, and then stream it for a few days in a row, right? A Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, we're all going to do that. But I didn't want to start a series like this, so we're just doing one shot today, and Bellatro does seem excellent. I don't know if Bellatro means something in a certain language, no idea. Mm-hmm. Playing hot drinks and honey, feel better soon. Yeah, well, I'm trying to pound as much water as possible right now. Certainly tea is going to be something else that I'm going to have to go into. Um, taking med medicine what we can do bah, 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 bah. oh it's jester joker in italian oh you know i probably that's funny okay that makes a lot of sense blotcher is a roman clown old term for a jester okay i mean that makes sense if it's a poker game we got jokers going on all that kind of stuff makes a lot of sense <laughs> gargle with hot salt water why well, don't have like um I don't think I've got a throat infection or anything, which is what I'd mostly think that was for, but uh, we'll, we'll see about that as well. Uh, uh, uh. I'm feeling better now than I did yesterday or even this morning, so hopefully it's on the mend. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what the voice sounds like on Wednesday. Anyway, without further ado, uh, maybe we should just jump in so we can see what this game is like. New CK3 DLC drops on mine just saying, I know, we've got that. There's a Hoi 4 DLC right under the works. Um... And I've got to, uh, well, my plan originally yesterday, because I got home from my trip yesterday, was to record one episode of Dwarf Fortress, one episode of Victoria 3 at least, so that there'd be things going on. Um, but none of that happened, so we're going to have a little bit of a gap of at least a day in there. Hopefully tomorrow I can do a record, one recording of each and then start those going up again. We will see. We will see. New Age of Wonders 4 DLC tomorrow. Well, funny you should mention that. Uh, I do actually happen to have a video on my channel for Primal Fury, which uh, was sponsored by Paradox. Um, I'm really, uh, I really do like the, uh, they make some tweaks to the necromancy system. That's actually part of the free patch, um, rather than just the DLC by itself. And I think it's quite cool. Any plans on trying Distant World 2? Um, we should revisit it. Absolutely. It's been far too long, and I think that would be a lot of fun. <coughs> Solium and Furnace is a real shame that uh, we haven't gotten around to playing it yet. We'll see what we can do about that. They actually contacted me about doing some sponsored stuff a while ago, and then I just I didn't have the time and wasn't able to to get back to them on that, which is too bad because I think it would have been a lot of fun to do so. But we'll we'll find a place to check it out. Last Epoch server seemed a little bit blood wobbly. Yeah, I've been I've been playing Last Epoch yesterday and today, uh, but I've been playing in the um, the offline mode. I, not not full offline or whatever. I can't remember what's defined, but the offline mode just because turns out to be fun. All right, we are gonna get started on this and play. Now I have played. Uh, I played a couple of games just before the stream. Uh, I did the tutorial just so that I'd know kind of what the buttons to do, and then I went ahead and did one extra game as well because it turned out to be a lot of fun. I actually have a game going on right now, um, but I'm going to abandon it so that we can start fresh over here. So um, yeah, you run. You can unlock more decks as you go. We'll just play with the base deck to get started with. Uh, this red deck over here. Um, there's difficulties I don't appear to have unlocked any yet. Uh, we'll be able to unlock challenges later on and stuff too. But uh, and you can start with a specific seed, which might be interesting for some challenges. <clears throat> Voice sounds weirdly better now than it did at the stream start. Maybe you just need to warm up. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's just, it's just a little rusty. So 
interface, a lot going on in front of us right now. Um, there is a kind of a CRT effect to the screen. You can turn that off if you don't like it, but I've left everything on the default other than bringing down the game volume a little bit. Um, and so like a lot of roguelike games, we can think of this more like the poker mechanic is just the mechanic they use. Uh, we are going to be fighting through um, fighting three sort of bosses, the small blind, big blind, and then the actual boss blind over here. And that will be anti one. After we defeat the boss, the anti will go up by a level and then we will just keep repeating this. Between each fight, we will be able to shop to unlock upgrades that will let us tweak our deck. If we look at our deck right now, it is a perfectly standard 52 card deck. Everything you would normally expect from a game of poker. So let's go ahead and uh, play the small blind. Now you can skip the blinds over here too. Um, and they will give you certain benefits from skipping this because assuming you beat the blind, you're gonna get a certain amount of cash money and the opportunity to shop. This actually might not be a bad idea for us to skip this uh, small blind in this particular situation, because 15 bucks is gonna be a lot more than we're gonna get from defeating the small blind, which is probably gonna be four or $5. Um, it does get delayed to after you beat the, the, the boss, and we won't get a chance to shop if we skip the blind, but we really aren't gonna have that much money anyway. That being said, while I think this is actually be a good place for us to skip, I'm gonna go and do it so that we can get into the game proper. Yeah, small blinds don't give a lot of cash early. So, uh, Gars... Garsmore? I don't know how to parse your name. Um, am I wrong in my thinking that in this case the investment tag would be like the no-brainer to hit this? I feel like it would be. But we're gonna go and play just so that we can showcase the game. So, our goal here is to earn 300 chips. <coughs> it's important to note, there is cash money here, and there are chips. Chips is what we use to defeat the round. And this is what we earn by playing our poker card. By beating a round, we earn cash money, which is what we use in the shop. And yeah, that's pretty good for a small blind. Yeah, I was, I was pretty sure, but we'll give it the example. So um, in this here, we, as a base, we're gonna be drawing, well, it depends on, you know, there, all kinds of things can modify this. But in this case, we're drawing eight cards and we're trying to make our best five card poker fan for this. We've got four hands to do it in uh, to beat 300 chips. We also had four opportunities to discard and we can discard up to five cards when we go and do that. Um, we can get a payout info over here for the various hands. So let's say, let's say I were to make a straight. So a straight would guard me 30 chips with a four times multiplier, which means it would earn me 120 as a base, but it's actually gonna be better than that because each card also has its own value. It's the value, like the face value of the card. So seven are worth seven, nines are worth nines, face cards are worth 10, aces are worth 11. So in practice, if I were to make a straight, um, I, the base 30 chips would be higher than this because it would be the value of every card that I used plus the 30 and then multiplied by four. So obviously better poker hands, make you more points. So I could make a uh, I can make a three of a kind right away. That's not a terrible start, but I'm wondering if it might be worth discarding everything except the sevens and hope that either we get lucky and draw the last seven in our deck, or we just draw something else that's a pair. Um, I could keep the higher cards because they are higher value. Like I could decide to just discard the nine and the two. I could also just decide to discard everything that's not a club and then hope that we get a flush. <clears throat> Um, I could also, I could just play the three of a kind. You actually don't even have to play five cards because the cards that don't make up the hand that you play, um, don't score anything. So if I were to go and let's say I did this, the nine and the two wouldn't contribute anything to any points whatsoever. On the other hand, it would let me discard the nine and the two as, as part of playing this three of a kind. And then, you know, we get something else. So in practice, this would score 51 times three. So 153, assuming I've, I've in the right mind place, but we'll do this. I'm really happy my mic filter uh, filters out blowing my nose sounds. So we're halfway to our goal for the small blind, easy peasy. You win a full game without playing a certain sets of cards, you unlike other stuff. Yeah, so like many roguelites, one of the things is as you play through each one of these sessions, you unlock more and more content. There's a collection page on the, the front here. Uh, is it just me or did we draw a uh, nice little straight over here? I think we should probably play that. So not only does the straight have a good base value and good multiplier, but we're playing a lot of very high value cards. So we're getting a strong multiplier, a little flame effects there, I believe means it's gonna be enough for us to complete it. 
So there we go. We've completed the small blind. <clears throat> and beating the small blind is going to be worth $3, and then you get extra dollars for each remaining hand. So we're going to get a whole five bucks out of here. Again, we could have done 15 Although this does give us the opportunity to shop right away. So we can, we have nine dollar rings. You do get interest for every five dollars interest you, or five, for every five dollars you bank, you do earn a dollar of interest. Uh, that does cap out at five. So $25 is the most you can bank to earn the most interest if you want to sort of min max around there. <clears throat> oh yeah, you can only play um, you can only play five cards as your poker hand. I, I actually assumed I didn't try anything else, and I bet you there's things that can tweak that somewhere along the way. But yeah, so we didn't extend the straight. Um, we've got a couple of planet cards over here. So what I could do is I could buy Jupiter or Neptune. Planet cards level up your hands. So Jupiter, for example, levels up the flush. So a flush right now is 35 base chips, plus, of course, whatever the value of the cards you use are, and a times four multiplier. If we picked up Jupiter, this would increase the multiplier to times six and a base extra 15 chips. So this would level up the flush, which is pretty good. Um, vouchers here are permanent passive boosts. So this gives us the ability to reroll the boss blind one time per ante, $10 per roll. So I don't know if there's a way to, from here, remind ourselves what the boss blind is. I have to remember to do it. And there's packs over here. So it's these standard packs. I open it and I can add extra cards to my deck so I could throw in some, some maybe I'll get lucky and open an ace in this pack and then throw an extra ace into my deck. Make it more likely that it can make pairs with aces or something. Uh, we can also open the Celestial Booster here, uh, which will show us three planet cards just like these and will let me pick one. Uh, so if I really wanted a planet card but I wasn't happy with these, I could take the Celestial Pack. These are randomized every time. I'm not terribly feeling these cards right now. Yeah, standard pack, probably not worth it yet because we don't know our strategy, yeah. And I mean, leveling up hands are pretty good, although flush and straight flush, especially the straight flush, aren't something that we're really gonna be able to aim for. The voucher would be cool, but it's 10 bucks, so we can't afford it. So I'm just gonna keep my money for now and we'll get an extra buck of interest. Sure, not a bad thing. Uh, yeah, so the boss over here, the boss blind over here for the hook is discard two random cards per hand played. So we could have the option if we'd taken one of those cards to flip this around. We can also skip this uh, big blind. Uh, next base edition shop, Joker becomes holographic. Okay, which the multiplier stuff is pretty good, actually. I would have to purchase the Joker. But it would be a Joker with a huge extra multiplier. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is probably worth skipping for. So we're gonna have to beat the boss and it's actually maybe gonna be a little tricky because we haven't done anything to improve our deck in any way whatsoever here. And I know you can't really see this, but it's reminding me that I've got this tag. We're gonna try to beat the hook. It's, but you know what? It's possible that we just like fall flat in our face on here because of the uh, the options we did, but that's okay. So uh, right away in our hand, we could play a couple of, we could play two pair. That's not bad. Um, we can't, I, I don't know if a big discard for a flush, either the diamonds or probably the spades is really, really the way to go. Um, I could discard everything that's not a four or a nine. Hope we get another one for a full house. Which may be worthwhile. On the other hand, if I just play this, two pair ain't bad. And I could play the two just to toss it. Keep some ni nice high cards and see what we can get. So there's a lot of valid ways we could go about it. Um, my last game, I actually leveled up the two pair to level four. The level, the two pair was making me more money than like absolutely everything else. Well, short of like a straight flush or something like that. It was crazy. Some cool tech that you can definitely do. Um, whether or not this is the right play, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and start it. And I'm not gonna worry too much if we just, just face plant ourselves on this first boss and just restart. Hardly the end of the world. That's not going to be enough. You see here, like, I only got three hands left. That's not going to be enough to get us there. Um, on the other hand, we've got ourselves a straight... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Uh, we got ourselves a straight here, which that is going to be moving us in the right direction. So let's do that. We've got a lot of discards left, so we can go and be very greedy. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if I caught something 
before I left, or literally the people next to us on the plane um, was a family of, so a mom and dad, a kid. The mom and the kid were coughing the whole time and didn't have masks on. Which, so I don't know. Uh, but part of me wonders if I might have caught something before the plane even, just because of the way it progressed, but I'm not sure. Okay, we are, we are going to have to be greedy here. Um, I'm tempted to keep the queens and the eights and reroll to see if we get more. We only have one queen left on deck. We've got two eights. Deck's got 30 cards. I'm not doing the math. How many hearts do we have? Six. <clears throat> and we, we do have a lot of discards available. I kind of feel like doing this. Uh, there's only three outs, but we only need one of them. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, we need we need a special challenge. We need a special achievement that's going to be accomplished. At some point, I'm going to select cards, and instead of hitting discard, I'm going to click play hand. And when that happens, I want us to agree on some sort of keyword or key phrase to spam in the chat when that has happened. I don't know if it should be... Um, I don't know. Pineapple pizza? Tilt? Bingo? Waffles? Could be that. Could be Fs. At some point, 100%, this is going to happen. I can guarantee it. So let's do this and hope we get a queen or an eight. There we go. Guys, I'm, I'm really good at this game. So we're going to go and play a full house. Maybe a specific emote. <clears throat> All right, so we beat the boss. I was actually, I was a little worried, but things worked out just fine. And yeah, we should have taken the extra 15 bucks, but that's okay. All right, we got Jokers. Now, Jokers, if you've played Slay the Spire or Binding of Isaac or whatever, Jokers kind of act like the relics and things like that that stick around forever. Um, you can have up to five by default. Um, they're not permanently locked in because, because there's a limit to how many you can have. You can sell them later if you're unhappy with having them. Uh, we did have the thing where we... Uh, we're guaranteed to have one be a holographic. So we've got this holographic Joker over here. Um, not discover. I guess we don't know what the name is until we buy it. Earn $1. Not chip, but $1. At the end of round, gain $2 when boss blind is defeated. That's really good. And because of the choice we did, it's got the holographic tag. So this is permanently going to have a, an extra 10 multiplier to everything we do. No brainer to purchase that. Leaves us 7 bucks. What's the other Joker here? An extra 100 chips if played hand contains a straight. Well, I'm not going to suggest that we're optimized for running straights necessarily, so I don't know if we're going to do this. Um, Arcana Pack can give us some tarot cards. I'm tempted to buy those just because we haven't done, we haven't seen a tarot card yet, and so it might be worth just doing that as an example. All these Celestial Packs are kind of enticing on the basis that, um, you know, leveling up our hand values seems pretty strong. But let's do the Arcana Pack to show it off. So this is going to be, this one here is we're going to see three tarot cards, and we're going to choose one to use immediately. So we're going to open this pack. If you're unhappy, you can skip it. And with the tarot cards done this way, it's drawing um, eight cards off the top of our deck. This isn't going to be our hand for starting the next round. This is just eight random cards from our deck. So we can take this card here, the world, converts up to three selected cards to spades. Hey, we want to do a lot of flushes, or we might have had a joker or something like that that gave us extra value for spades, so we can do this. Um, we got lovers over here. Encances one card into a wild card, can be used as any su a suit. Maybe we, uh, maybe we turn this ace into a wild card. Got the moon converts up to three cards to clubs. Oh, uh, it's not random. You actually pick the cards. So here, let's say I want to do this and make things in spades. Uh, I could be like you, you, and you, and then I would click this and hit use. So I actually get to choose which cards I want to convert to these things. So yeah, either really any of these cards is going to help us make flushes, including lovers for the wild card. Moon and World help us make flushes of a particular kind. <clears throat> Tell you what, <clears throat> how about we take the spades one? Um, no, how about we take the club one and turn all three of these into clubs? I guess it doesn't really matter one way or another. 
Uh, this is single use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, in the end, it doesn't really matter. But I definitely want to make sure to turn my high cards into something of the same suit and encourage that. Better to remove a single suit in, instead of three from different suits. Not entirely sure what you mean there. Clubs will be higher value card equal better. What? Mm -mm. Yeah, there's no difference between World and Moon here. Yeah. So you know what? Spades are prettier. So we're going to do that and that and that. And then we'll choose this nine over here to become a spade as well. And if we did lovers, we put on the ace, for sure. A wild card ace would be great. So maybe we'll try to optimize around flushes. Okay, we got three bucks left, which isn't enough for anything else, so we'll do this. All right, if I skip this blind, a standard, a free mega standard pack. So we see five normal cards and get to pick two to add to our deck, which would probably go and just take a bunch of spades or something, but I don't feel that that's that strong. So we're gonna go ahead and play this. Okay, well, um. We can do a two pair. I think I'm going to do two pair and then just play the three here just to cycle it. We have three diamonds. I mean, this isn't going to be huge value. You know, what? I think we should be greedier. Although it's kind of awkward with this because normally if I just let's say I just had the jacks and nines, I could I would discard everything else and hope we hit another jack or nine. It feels bad tossing away the pairs of fours. And we know we have more spades than anything else. Is it worth like holding on to these spades and then try to go for a flush? I don't think we go right now. Fours nine plus three. Oh, you're suggesting just unloading these lower value cards, keeping these around and seeing what comes up. If you trash the fours, you'll 100% draw fours. I mean, that's the way it goes, right? <clears throat> All right, tell you what, let's let's go ahead and do this. Not enough value in this to get anything going, but that's okay. But notice the rocket here is going to add 10 multiplier. So already, like, well, that was going to be from times two, now it was times 12. Uh, yeah, I forgot that we have this, so all of a sudden we're sitting on, like, infinite money. So it's, like, going to be trivially easy for us to defeat this. Holographic card, baby. Gotta get those foils. All right, so we crushed that. I forgot about, I forgot we had this. Okay, Neptune, level up straight flush. I mean, maybe, but not yet. Uh, that's frustrating. If we had gone moon before, we could take moon again here. Our voucher playing cards can be purchased from the shop. Arcana gives us some tarot cards, some planet cards. We could just sit on money. I'm not gonna moon. I mean, I guess I could because this still helps us get flushes. Obviously, so I'd be looking to convert red cards into black cards. You know what? Let's go to town and try to optimize around flushes both ways. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll uh, we'll adjust the game speed, sure. Oh yeah, um, because this wasn't in a pack, it didn't trigger immediately. Let's open a pack. Empress. Okay, so this enhances two cards to molt cards. So playing those cards as part of a hand will add four extra multiplier, which is pretty good. Justice enhances a selected card into a glass card. Uh, gives us times two molt, one in four chance of destroying a card. Immediately or when we play it? Hmm. Oh, world, more spades. Well, all right. <clears throat> so let's the world. Convert some more red cards, prioritizing higher rank stuff. And we're going to be flush with high quality stuff. All right, next round. So this, because it's here, I have to wait until I've got cards in my hand. Uh, skip this mega celestial pack with some planets. Now we are going to be looking for planets that um, improve our flushes, most likely. This would give us, you know, five cards to pick from. That's pretty good. 
Mm. On the other hand, just defeating this gives us money, which gives us a little bit more control. Yeah, this is probably worth it at this point. Straight flush, pair, flush, four of a kind, full house. Well, we're definitely going to take Jupiter. I don't know how likely a straight flush is. At a certain point, a straight flush is going to potentially be almost as likely as a regular flush for us. So maybe. On the other hand, full houses are pretty decent to do, and I think we've got pretty good odds of getting that. So I'm going to level up Jupiter. I'm going to use Jupiter to level up our flush. Rather, I should say. And then we'll take Earth over here for the full house. In this game, I feel like the full houses are fairly attainable. <clears throat> oh, see, we're getting conflict in chat already. Crit C says, really need to get as many jokers early as possible, so skipping early can hamstring you. All right, what's the head? All heart cards are debuffed. Hey, you know what? That's fine. We've got fewer heart cards than normal. So debuffed means they have zero value. Which is hardly the end of the world. Uh, in this case, what we should probably do is uh, discard everything that's not a spade and um, try to go for a spade flush. I'm not going to use... What? I mean, I guess I could use the moon now. I'm going to want to use it at some point, so... Oh, uh, you know what? I'd rather use the moon on high tier cards. All of our aces are black, but we've got two red kings and a red queen. And then the tens as well. <clears throat> now, you know what? I'm going to use the moon now. Well, no, these are really low. Never mind. I'm not going to use the moon now. But, so let's just go ahead and uh, discard everything that's not a spade and just go for a flush. There you go. Flush with a pair of queens. Normal, right? And yeah, still big multiplier in there. Oh, nearly killed it in one round. Um, I would love to use the moon to convert the queen, but again, there's a lot of like low tier stuff over here that I might not care about as much. Um, I guess if I moon now, I can make a flush in this hand. So maybe I will. And I'd like to save it for like higher tier cards, but what the hell. If I go and flip these, I'll have three or five clubs in my hand. Let's just use that. And continue to execute plan flush all the things. And yeah, our multipliers, like our base value of the flush has gone up because it's level two. Moon's temporary anyway, long-term goals to world everything. I mean, that would be nice. If we get our entire deck into spades, that'd be sweet. All right. Ooh, another hologram. Gives me an extra discard, and it's got the 10 multiplier. I think we've got to take that. Um, Spectral pouch. What are spectral cards? I don't know if I've discovered this yet. Kind of feels I should use this immediately, then, to figure out what it is. Let's find out what a spectral card is. Onk creates a random copy, or copy of a random joker, destroys all other jokers. Shit. I should have got opened this pack before I bought this Joker. It would have copied this one. <sighs> I don't want to use this right now. Um, oh, this is kind of... Ooh. Okay. So, El Ectoplasm is interesting because this is going to give me an extra Joker slot. So, I'm going to have to be able to have six Jokers, which is very good. Minus one hand side is pretty painful. I think I'm going to take this, though. I don't... We're not going to onk. I could skip, but how come I can't actually use it? I, 
you have to select a joker to use it on it's a negative to a random joker and look i can't i've selected a joker i've selected a different joker i could sell then onk yeah but that wouldn't actually put us in a better position oh does negative compete with the foil i guess we're just gonna skip holographic jokers can't be negative I guess that's an explanation. Doubles your money. Well, I only have one buck right now. My last run, I had a Joker card that made every hand worth bonus chips equal to double the amount of money I had. So all I did is accumulate like, I think I when I was gonna say when I ended the game, but when I abandoned the game to start this for the stream, I had something like $150 sitting over here. So every hand had a base value of 300 more and then had tons of extra multipliers as well. So this isn't gonna do anything for us. So we're just gonna play the small blind. <clears throat> Um, that is a very poor starting hand for us. I mean, we do have some slightly higher club count than anything else, but I don't know about the guarantee of anything here. I mean, I guess I could do something like this. May get a two pair, maybe get lucky in some clubs. We do have the bonus discards, which is good. Maybe I just do this. Five is the max you can discard, by the way. Now this all of a sudden is looking quite good. Um, do I discard the king for an extra shot at a club? I think the answer is yes. Especially since our flushes are worth more. There we go. Well, we didn't get a straight flush or anything like that, but we're gonna do this, play this hand, and then hopefully we'll get lots of spades next turn. We certainly have enough spades in the deck. Uh, we're short one, but that's okay. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's interesting because we could play a straight here. But we're almost guaranteed to get ourselves a flush. And the base value is so much higher because of everything we've been doing. It feels a little silly because we've, we've got a straight in hand. We've got 14 spades left. Oh, I didn't realize we had the guaranteed win. I mean, yeah, with the multipliers. Right. Got to check to see if I've got lethal. I got to remember that. Oh, yeah, the high contrast stuff I do like. Oh, I was going to increase the animation speed, wasn't I? Um, Game speed. We want it all the way up. And yeah, high contrast cards, does that just change... Is it set one to blue and one to green? That's usually how I like to play uh, poker digitally. Uh, more chips if played hand contains a four of a kind. Well, we're not optimizing that. Adds the number of times poker hand has been played to the multiplier. Oh, that's quite good. Because, so if we keep playing a bunch of flushes, we're just gonna get more multipliers to that. This is great if you're just optimizing around one particular thing, which I think we probably wanna do here. I think this is fine, or we just bank. Yeah, screw it. More planet cards. Yeah, I want this. I'm hoping for more Jupiters. Dang it. Well, we can get another Earth. Maybe the two pair for when we don't hit our full house. The mouth. Uh, play only one hand type this round. Oh, so we want to just play flushes. There's the high contrast cards. Does make it a lot easier to tell if you're working on a flush of some kind. Although what this is going to do is going to means we are going to keep getting asked about why the cards are that color. At least that's what happens when I play like poker uh, online and stream it. People are uh, confused about the uh, four-color deck here. Um, I mean, wow. This is terrible. Especially if we want to really push ourselves 
into full houses exclusively. Or flushes exclusively. Good thing we got the extra discard. Alright, there we go. Uh, I'm sorry. There's a straight flush. You guys, we're really good at this game. Oh, wait! That means then I could only do straight flushes. So I have to purposely not do a straight flush. There you go. Regular flush. I mean, unless the straight flush would have given me enough to win, but... It might have, yeah, but I didn't know. Like, it doesn't pre-math it for you. Like, it tells you the 50 times 6, but not the full. Oh, that's right. We want to play more, um... More flushes for the supernova as well. Every time we play it, this multiplier gets bigger. All cards are considered face cards. Now, I don't know if that changes their value. There's just a lot of jokers and things like that, and things that interact specifically with face cards. Like, face cards do X. Uh, played cards with spades suit give plus four molt when scored. Oh. It feels like we take this and keep optimizing around spades. I think I might bank this money. I, I do like the idea of more tarot cards, because what I'm specifically looking for is more worlds to make more things into spades. This does seem to get more powerful as the ante goes up or something. Yeah, I'm just gonna bank this. Or bank for planets, either one, yeah. Paired with two common jokers, no. We only have room for one. I mean, I guess I could just play a straight. That's not going to boost our supernova. <coughs> now we got the extra discards. not being very nice here. Uh, out of 39 cards remaining, 10 clubs, I'd need to draw two of them. I don't like those odds. I mean, I can do this. Or I discard that way. So this is the, I'm hoping to draw two of my 10 clubs. Or I keep the spades, discard the clubs. I do need three of them, but there are more in the deck. We do have a lot of discards. Uh, all right, I'm going to discard these. Not loving our situation here. Jesus! And what are you doing to me?
think what we need is um one of those combination things. Right? What I need to draw do is draw three spades here. <clears throat> We have, okay, you know what? We have three hands to go. I think I'll do this. We'll play two pair. <clears throat> it only wastes one of our spades. I could play an extra dummy card in here, which could be a club. Like, I could just play the three, just to cycle it out of my hands. <clears throat> I think I will. Yeah, we're nearly there anyway. There we go. I think I was being overly paranoid. Now we're going to get all the points. All right. Our fans. So two cards would just permanently give us 30 extra chips whenever they get used, which is great. Counterpacks for Tarot, Celestials. Yeah. I think we'll probably use these two. I think there's no reason not to grab the Hierophant. Oh, yes. I know the Order of the Jokers matters for multiplication. Although here, they're just adding to the raw multiplication value here. None of these are like increase the multiplier by like 1.5, which I've seen. So I don't think in this case the Joker order matters, but you can reorder them. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it matters in this case. All right, let's pop this Arcana pack and see what happens. I love opening booster packs. Two random planet cards. Well, we do have room for that, actually. Or two X, two random tarot cards. I don't want to convert things to heart. I think we are going to pick one of these two. Um, I think they're kind of six of one, half a dozen. I guess the planet cards are never poor to use. Tarot is better. I'm just wonder, worried that some of the tarot cards might be things that aren't useful. Well, let's see the star. Can I sell it? Oh, I can sell it. Okay, cool. I was worried it was going to occupy some space here because I clearly don't want to turn anything to diamonds. So I'm just going to sell the star for a buck, but we'll use the moon um, once we got a hand. Oh, here's a downside. Some of the planet cards also kind of useless. Well, yeah, but they're like, yeah. Um, I guess I could have held on to this and just used it to convert if I get a handful of hearts. I think there's no reason not to take the Hierophant. I can't. Oh, I can do this. Jupiter! Flushes get flushier. That's a lot of arcana. Yes, the world. could use these first for one two interesting i don't think there's any reason to use the moon now though oh death is really good we do have room for a joker we can't emperor i think what we do is we death here So if we did this, we convert... Oh, actually, hold on. I should do, say, this seven. So if I do this, it's going to convert that seven of clubs into another king of spades, which seems pretty good. Left card into the right card. Cards played previously this ante are debuffed. And yeah, it's kind of annoying, but I think it's fine. Okay, well, a couple of things. First of all, we're going to Hierophant these two cards. There 
go. Now these aces are worth a crap ton of chips. Um, we only have one diamond we'd convert with the moon, so I'll hold on to it. I've got more. The flush is worth more to us than four of a kind. That's crazy. Four of a kind is 60 times seven. Our flush is 65 times eight. So I think the thing to do here is to discard this and look for another spade. Um, why are you, hold on, why are you debuffed? Oh, this ante. That's okay though. Well, we, hey, you're right, we could dump it. Um, because it's worth zero dollars right now, but it can still be used as part of a flush. I think it's very important to make sure we get the flush. I know discarding the ace kind of hurts you. <clears throat> so. I guess I may as well do this. Can't play a card twice in the same blind. Your deck doesn't reshuffle. Wait, what? Well, yeah, but why would we play a full house? Oh, okay. The full house is worth slightly more. Oh, I forgot that we doubled the uh, full house upgrade twice. Same multiplier, but higher base value. So this should be a little bit more. Although, hold on. The supernova is only going to add two multiplier instead of eight. I'm sorry, is this a flush house? It's a flush house. It's a flush house. Okay, which only counted as one for the supernova, but it had high base value and we want it in one go. Okay, I guess, I guess that worked out pretty well. Uh, we're not using the diamond suites. Uh, this is if we play tens or fours. We're not really optimized around that. Come on, world. Oh, uh, we can take a lover. So we just hold on to a card in our hand. But I think we love her, and we probably just king turn the king into a wild card. Oh, so you're telling me I can use the moon now. Perfect. So we'll convert all these diamonds over to clubs. And then we'll convert this king into a wild card. Hey, unlocked a new deck. Hey, Jupiter. Level four flush. So we have enough money now that shopping is actually fairly useful to us. So we skip this blind, we don't get the shop. There's a chance that we don't run into a Jupiter. I mean, with five cards, I don't know how many there are. You know what, I think we'll just play. Nine thousand points in one go. That's not too shabby. Oh, this is a wild card. That's kind of a weird 
Display for it. All right. Yeah, maybe stop discarding clubs. Maybe. Oh, hello. Plus 10 malt if played hand contains a flush. We could grab the earth because we do have a good multiplier on it. <coughs> so it might still come up. We've got the money for it. So, um, yeah, let's go. Oh, buy. Yeah, buy and use. Uh, hello, world. Might as well. Hello, Jupiter. Yeah, I know that the uh, Order of the Jokers controls how they fire, but again, let I don't think that the order for these Jokers matter. Because all they're doing is adding like a, f uh, a fixed integer to the multiplier. Right? Level up the flush house. I mean, we've gotten one already. Oh, hold on. We can get earth. We can get some more full house. I do like the idea of leveling up the flush house, though. Maybe we can start... You know what? Yeah, only matters when you have many multiplier jokers. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of money, but I think we're making enough money regularly. We've got cash now. We'd like to be able to buy it. Yeah. straight flush. Nothing that matters because we're not getting multipliers to that. Oh, yeah, the rocket is giving me tons of money, so I guess we really don't want to skip lines. Uh, you're just not that helpful. Three of a kind, no... Buffoon. I don't think... I don't think we'd... It would be pretty crazy, I'd say, for us to replace one of these jokers. I find it fairly unlikely that we'd like to do that. I suppose I could spend the four and then skip if I don't care about it. Plus 80 chips if it contains a flush. It's the tarot card if poker hand contains an ace and a straight. Wow, this generates tarot cards. I think this is giving a plus four molt for every spade in the played hand, which for a spade flush is a huge number. The drunkard, the plus one discard is fine, but becomes... Necess unnecessary. I think the supernova scales too slowly. Yeah, no, the base plus 80 is crazy because it's going to be affected by all our multipliers. Uh, you think the supernova is the weakest? I guess, all right, so the supernova is currently a times 12 multiplier, which is a more multiplier than the drunkard. Now, we'd lose the plus one discard, and this is just going to get better. I'm going to propose... Yeah, how does the multiplier compare to this? We do end up, we are ending up with a lot of multipliers. This is actually really hard to judge. <laughs> Chat's very divided. A lot of people saying you can lose one to get a better multiplier. Long term, you want plus chips. You need discards.
I mean, this only works when you do the spade, but it is a huge multiplier. I think the extra trips is probably okay. I th The supernova is going to end up with more multiplier, already does, than uh, the drunkard. But maybe the plus one discard is worth it. Or this is just a plus 10. This is going to be more than a plus 10. This is always a plus 10. Maybe I drop the droll. Yeah. All right. I'm going to drop the droll. Base chips and molt are halved. That's really annoying. Kind of want to get a club here, but I don't want to get rid of this ace. There we go. No, Joker's order doesn't matter now. Because the plus chips and the multipliers will both get added here and then the math will happen. Right? Pretty sure. You think I want to put it in the far left? Hang on, that went way too fast, so I couldn't actually see it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually matter in this case. Yes, it doesn't matter. Um, because what's going to happen, so we're back on normal speed, is these things will all trigger and we'll modify all these numbers. It's adding the plus 80, it's adding all these multipliers, and then the math happens. So it doesn't matter if it's adding the 80 chips before it changes the multipliers, because both these numbers are going to end up being exactly the same, and then the math will happen. So for in this case, it doesn't matter. For others, it does. We're going to be, we're going to be saying this like 30,000 times every time we stream this game. Um, we're kind of low on clubs. I'm thinking about just ditching them and hoping we draw a bunch of spades. We're nearly there, so I don't think it really matters what we do. And yes, no one is denying that for some of the jokers, the order matters, but not for these. You guys are going to make me wear out my voice. I'm going to count on some of you guys in chat to, like, respond to those for me. Why is it so satisfying watching numbers go up? I mean, really, every game we play is about number go up game, right? Uh, times three mult. Okay, so these X3s are huge. Because these... This is where the order matters. Because what you want to do is add all the integer multipliers first, and then get this number as big as possible, and then you want to multiply the multiplier. It's also foil, so it's going to add some static chips. Yeah, this is this round. This mult, if played poker hand, has already been played this round. Well, we're probably going to be playing the same round, the same um, hand over and over and over again, right? So this purple joker is a is a plus twenty molt when I play spades. I'm yeah, I'm actually was wondering about that. We lose the crafty joker. It's eighty chips. This is fifty chips, and the possibility for a huge multiplier. So I think that's what I want to do. And this one needs to be last for the times three to matter. We may as well play strength, right? Is there any reason not to? Ooh, that voucher might be worth it.
think I'll redeem this voucher. Take this jumbo celestial pack. Come on, Jupiter. Yeah, baby. Yeah, maybe we start buying uh, the standard decks, yeah. Um, this is annoying. <clears throat> How about I just make a bunch of aces? Right? I don't know. Frick it, let's make a bunch of aces. All right, how many is this gonna be worth? This isn't doing the times three because that's the first time this round that we played a flush. But now the times three should kick in. And whatever number is here is going to get times three. Then we'll maybe put the speed up again. The lower speed is much better for understanding what's going on. There you go, times three molt. Yeah, we brought the speed back down to uh, normal just to be able to see the calculations clearly. Maybe I'll just bring it up to the times two instead of times four. We'll split the difference. I'm going to want to pick up series when we get options, although I'm going to take Jupiter preferably. But yeah, Jupiter, series, Earth. That's what we're looking for in these. Man, we still need some tarot cards. Purge our deck from this wrong color garbage. Flush two pair. We don't get the times three. Now we do. Oh, do we have the Wild King? Yeah, I'm gonna be really bad for spotting that. I was kind of hoping they'd use a completely different color, or just gray it out, or make it a rainbow. <clears throat> I'm gonna say Ceres over Earth. So, this must be, like, plus 100%. This must be doubling it at x1, right? So is this actually quadrupling the value? Hmm. Oh! 
this isn't retroactive. It's going to be an X1 right now and do nothing, but then in the future, planets will go and boost it. Okay, then no, it's no good. Well, let's add some spades. I didn't realize... This is my first time adding a card to my deck. I didn't realize what kind of crazy-ass shit this would do. Creates a tarot card when discarded. Oh, I think the Nine of Spades with the Molt card. Yeah, this won't work with flushes. What the hell is all this bullshit? Your lucky card... Um, I mean, I don't think we're going to be discarding the spades, although generating Paul, like tarot cards is really good. But I think we just grabbed the Nine of Spades. Yeah, I thought these decks would just create vanilla cards. I didn't realize they'd be modded. <laughs> cards drawn face down after each hand played. Oh. Well, this is a lot harder. We could just YOLO it, but these cards, I think, are going to get drawn face up. Wait, really? Wait, really? Really? Huh. So, conceivably, these four cards could all be spades. I don't know what order they use. Presumably, this is a spade. Presumably, these three could be a club. Spade, heart, club, diamond. Ah. So this must be a spade. Is what you're telling me. I, I, and I'm putting a lot of faith in you, but Twitch chat has never led me wrong, ever. And this is going to be our second flush, so we're going to get the times through multiplier, so... We got enough this time to, like, one-shot it. We just- we aren't one-shotting on the first hand, because we don't get the times three. Oh, that's interesting. So some more flat chips that then get multiplied. And that, you know, value is going to go down over the course of a thing, but... Hmm. Telescope. Celestial packs always contain the planet card for your most played poker hand. Yep. So we're always going to get a Jupiter. Oh, yeah. Is there any way to find out? Oh, there we go. Blinds. Oh. What is this? Glass card. Oh, chance of destroying it when you play it. Your wild card. This is quite good. We could go and add more um, more clubs, although I'd rather have everything move to spades. But you're a wild card. We could take you, but we can take two. It's got a... Oh, it's got an X2 molt. Okay. So I think I'm just going to add these two in here. I mean, I should look. But it's just going to leave me more decision paralysis. Plus four molt for each card below 52 in your full deck. So this is really good if we've been purging cards from our deck, which we're not doing. I reroll, oh, it just rerolls the jokers or rerolls what's in here, not the rest. Oh, 
I didn't actually check to see what the boss blind is. Maybe I would have wanted to rewind it. All diamond cards are debuffed. Okay. There's my wild card. Does it remember the sorting? It was on suit, so it defaulted to that. I think. If I hit a boss, it's like spade cards are debuffed. We're, we're literally, we just lose, I guess. We could use clubs, you're right. That's our backup. I think wilds get debuffed in any suit. Ah. I mean, conceivably, we might end up making some random straight flushes at some point, but I'm not sure. I mean, it's only three bucks, so I guess I could just grab it, but. Come on, hello world, or moon. Or lava. I do quite like the Hierophant as well. Okay, um, all the cards in my hand are already the right suits, so I don't really need lover. I don't need to double my money. This just gives me 20 bucks. I think we Hierophant. So, the use is not grayed out. So, presumably, we can have Molt card, but it overwrites? See, I don't like that, because that is not clear. I guess we'll just do both aces. Um, I mean, aces are superior cards, but we do more spade shit. Although, it does let us make sure we've got a good thing in clubs. Yeah, that's not clear from the UI at all. Hmm. Look at the modifier color. Well, the Molt card is in purple. And bonus card seems to be in either gold or gray, depending on which side of the tooltip. So presumably some things do stack? Yeah, we're going to need something that's a little bit more informative here. Mm -mm. So we could turn these two clubs into spades. I'm wondering about just strength. More spades are good, but it's not like our clubs are bad. And yeah, maybe we need clubs as a backup. We could just YOLO. All spades. But if we get a cl club blocker, we just lose the game. Let's just level this up to an ace, then, I don't know, maybe level this up to a queen. Clubs are an offhand weapon. I like that. See? Let's do this. And then we get our fifth ace of spades. Yeah. Standard deck. <laughs> First of all, we could five of a kind. Or we could four of a kind flush, which isn't... Oh, that's interesting. Hold on. It actually doesn't let me... It doesn't do the flush in this case. That's interesting. So it's not checking to see the multiplier. The flush is worth more than a four of a kind. But in this case, it's picking the four of the kind just because it's higher ranked, even though it's not worth as much. We do kind of just want to flush to, like, continue to multiply some things. It is kind of entertaining to do... That, I guess what I'd do is I would just do this one. Yeah, the multiplier is just crazy. Hmm. Maybe having too many aces is bad. Thank you. 
You know, it might not have been worth using the uh, glass on that one because I was going to win it anyway. And trashing the glass would have been annoying. <clears throat> so this is guaranteed to give us a Jupiter. This is not guaranteed to give us a Jupiter. Might just be completely pointless. I mean, it's never bad, but may not be useful in any way whatsoever. Lucky. Or higher fan. Both, both are ways to boost a card. I think I might just lucky this ace. Make more nines? What? Can't make more nines. It could be another Jupiter, but it could be absolutely nothing. I think I'm just going to lucky the ace, because that sounds like fun. Even though, a lot of times it's going to whiff. I should probably just hire a fan. That's dumb. Yeah, the odds are terrible. You're right, those are shit. And I think the flat value is better than the multiplier anyway. Um, I don't know. I guess this eight. Sure. I don't really need the $20. If I had the Joker that was giving us flat cash, flat chips for cash, then maybe, but... Diamond cards debuff, right. So yeah, it is definitely affecting the uh, wild cards here. I'm wondering if it's worth doing this. Obviously, this is going to be a shittier flush, but then we could save the, um, the bonus... Ace of Spades for a stronger times three after. I don't think it matters. I think we just crush this regardless. Oh, right. Debuff re uh, disables all their abilities. So it no longer counts as a wild card. Oh. Okay. I thought it was just going to be zero value, but... So, crushing it. Yeah, and we're still in the base difficulty here. First time playing through a full game. First hand of a round is a single six. Destroy it and create a spectral card. Huh, okay. Ooh, an extra consumable slot. Probably handy. You know what? I'm gonna redeem it now so we'll have it available. They got tons of money. Uh, none of these are clubs or spades. Retrigger this card one time. So we get the... Do we get an extra plus 41? Hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm just going to skip this. <clears throat> it's guaranteed to be a Jupiter. Now uh, we could get the Ace and turn it. Yeah, but... The stone doesn't make flushes. Retrograde achievement? Get any poker hand to level 10. Hey, there we go. Oops. This is our last ante.
Could have been a flush house. Oh, missed it. Oh, well. There you go. Need 50,000, get 109,000. Easy. And yeah, we saving the enhanced aces for the second flush is probably a good idea. I like this mint print, misprint. It's very entertaining. Ah. Well. All right. Fool creates the last tarot or planet card used during this run. So this would... This would create another earth for our full house, which we don't need. Last card, maybe. I'm just wondering about the world and just turn this four. Wait, this is our last... Oh, wait, hold on. All cards debuffed until a joker is sold? Holy shit, we're gonna have to sell a joker. Oh, you need to sell a joker during the fight? Thank you. Because I was, I was going to be, well, I'm going to sell a joker now and then replace it with something. Okay. Leads the four spades. Although, this king's pretty good if I could, uh, if I knew I could convert it. So there's definitely a few things with the UI and like, th I mean, it's one of those, I guess once you've done it, you know, but that's annoying. <clears throat> Only during the blind fight. So yeah, I guess there's no limit on this. Another Jupiter. Guaranteed. I mean, I don't think there's any reason to save my money anymore. But I don't want the Jokers. I was hoping another planet would come up. All right. So I think we sell the drunkard. I mean, Wrathful Joker doesn't help when we do a club hand, but it's got a much better multiplier. A little rocket? Oh, right. It just generates us money. You're right. I mean, and the plus 10 molt, but then so does the drunkard. Okay. The amount of money it was generating was pretty useful. We don't need it anymore because the game is over. So, we're going to discard these. I'm going to save the big ones. So, I could straight flush here. Uh, no, I can't. Never mind. But I wouldn't want to, because what I want to do is I want to engage the flush mode here and save our big cards for the next hand. Winning with debuffed only with your flex. I guess you still get the base value of your hand, right? You just don't get the value from the cards. I wonder if there's an achievement for that. Is straight flush not a flush? Uh, I wouldn't think so for these purposes. Different hand. Same thing with our flu a straight house, or flush house. Oh, there's an endless mode. Well, you know what? We're at 325 on the stream. We don't have enough for another full game. So let's let's go into endless. word how we're going to do this. So we have room for another Joker. No, I I don't want this because I don't want to not have a flush. 
more money no i might adds double the rank of lowest card held in hand to molt meh that sounds no that's gonna be that's gonna be bad a lot of times it's gonna be less than well it might end up being 10 or 12 or something but how's this one great I mean, I guess as long as I'm guaranteeing, if I hold a 10, then it's a times 20 molt, which isn't bad. We could use it for a little while. I think I should keep, I should grab the glass card. Um, I think in this case, I just lovers the two of hearts. Yeah. Well, we could world and make a bunch of spades, but again, the clubs are okay. And this one's already a wild card. So I think we're going to lovers. Maybe, maybe I was thinking something wrong. And yeah, the voucher will pay for itself soon. I should have, I should have grabbed it first. When we have enough money, it doesn't actually matter. But oh, this is a wild card. Here's tear one discarded, and it's a wild card. I don't know about the two of spades. I know we like spades. But I'm not I'm not sold on the spades. On the two of spades. But I think I'll take the Jack of Hearts slash wild card. We could take we can take two cards, but I don't think I'm gonna. I mean, I might well, I guess we could re-roll. If I buy this out and I re-roll, does it repopulate it? For science, let's find out. Who does? <coughs> oh, this creates another lover? In this case. Um, for now. Or it could do another justice, depending on the order. Oh, I can use it now. No, I want to hold on to this, and then when I've got a hand that has a heart or a diamond, then I want to lover it. Yeah, I know that pack allowed two picks. We were addressing that. But I decided not to. Okay, these rerolls are getting more expensive. I think you want this early, and then you'd feed it discards? Yeah, you get interest on money up to 25. Uh, although there is, I don't know if it was a passive or something else that increased that limit. Oh, um, I guess the order doesn't matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and so Right, this is going to create me a lovers. Which will then make this into a wild card. this queen or maybe just the five because if it, if it goes away I guess I won't be as bothered oh discard the three for the commie one I mean we're gonna hit our times three over here we probably just we probably just win it the 
the logo on my hat. Oh, it's the Air United uh, crest. Yeah, if I discard this, then we get our lowest card is then better. I think this is overkill for this, but this will definitely guarantee that we win it in one hand. But I guess we had hands, and if it breaks this, yeah, I really should not use the glass cards if I don't have to. This is going to be an insane amount of money. But yeah, if you like this sort of thing, I mean, clearly this is a pretty good game with good reviews. Um, I would also recommend Luck Be a Landlord. No. Literally tell Restria, hey, do you want the next Luck Be a Landlord? Oh, that's right, because she's like super addicted to that too, right? Just like I am. Yeah, I know it's in our is our offhand, as someone said, but I think I might take this King of Clubs with the Molt. Seventy one bucks? Yeah, okay. For unused discard, and we haven't used a lot of discards. Uh the mark. All face cards are drawn face down. Okay. So this must be a club or spade. The fact that the sorting works with the face down cards is so good. This is not a great place for us to be. We don't actually know what this is. It could be a heart. It could be a spade. This could be a heart or a club. We don't know. Oh, because of the rank, you think? This is a face card. So if it's sorted by suit and then rank, then yeah, this is a heart face card, I guess. It's not a spade. If it was a spade, it would be left in line? Because it's a face card. Well, that'll work. Oh, it's a flush house. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite as high as we might have liked. Oh, wait. This has got to be moved over here. playing the glass card intentionally this time. Oh, it broke. Dang, that's annoying. Splash is cool, but not for us. Oh, this gives us the ability to reroll the boss blind. It's probably worth doing. Okay, we'll have to do a little bit of work for it, but this dovetails beautifully into what we're working on. So we're gonna sell the raised fist. Select that, and yeah, these two are just gonna sit at the end over here. So 
So more important than ever that we purge out the red cards. Although I'm assuming wild cards count as spades or clubs. It might be worth just actually have discarded that. I should have discarded the Jack of Hearts. Like, even though it's a wild card. But. If I play this, I'm going to keep this for the higher multiplier afterwards. This is going to leave me with only things in here, so that's going to trigger the triple. If this triple doesn't trigger here. And now we're going to get times nine. Go away. I guess I'll keep the wild card. This hand will be worth a little less, but... I mean, I might have enough to just finish here, but I'm not sure. We'll keep the nine to have maximum options if we do need another hand. Not that I expect any real difficulty. Well, we do need an extra hand, so... These uh, scores are getting pretty high. Three hundred twenty thousand points, I think, on that hand. Yeah, endless is definitely getting pretty hard. That's okay. Wow, the straight flexibility on that one with the one gapper is insane. <coughs> Plus, one, like, X1 molt for each empty joker slot? Huh. Do we discard the king? tarot cards is really good, but I don't think I will. I'm going to play my lowest ones here. Yeah, I might draw red, which would mean I'd have to discard a second time. And I do have the discards, but it would be kind of annoying. So I'm going to do this just to set up this uh, card sharp. The supernova is now worth 42 multiplier, which is not bad. I suspect we probably won't be discarding this King of Spades very often. But. There you go, 300,000 points. Um, oh, this is a wild. Hold on. That's it. Oh, hold on. I don't like, um, I didn't like discarding the spades, but you're a wild card, but you're also purple. You're a wild card. So I have to discard the king of diamonds if I want to get the blackboard. I could do this just to generate a tarot card. I think I will. Despite this being wild. Because I don't need it right now. Temperance. 
gives the total sell value of all jokers. So this will give me 11 bucks. We, all right. I mean, I may as well just use it. That should, oh, do I have another hand? Okay, I do, good. Well, actually, all I need to do is draw either a club or a spade. Um, if you're into card games, I believe after this, A Kiss for Luck is going to be streaming Regency Solitaire, which is a sick good game. This Regency Solitaire, is re specifically 2, is what she's going to be playing. Regency Solitaire and like Shadowhand and stuff are actually really solid games where like they're just using the Solitaire card game as a combat mechanic. But it also has kind of like deck building mechanics and things like that, which is really neat. What are you up duty? Oh, and a Kiss for Luck has keys to give away. So if you were interested in Regency Solitaire 2, Kiss for Luck's gonna have some keys to give away. And actually, the developers are uh, kind of big fans of hers, so they might even be around again. Huh. We could copy our blackboard. I think it's time to ditch Drunkard. The Supernova is now worth times 45. Or molt, 45 points worth of molt. And then, yeah, our multiplier is going to be guaranteed to be at least, well, basically guaranteed to be at least times 9 and sometimes times 27. We aren't really using the discards that much. Yeah, I think we sell this. We buy this card to the right. So Blueprint is going to copy Blackboard. We're not going to copy Card Sharp, although presumably it would copy the foil part. Hold on, maybe I should. So, yeah, maybe I'll do this, because assuming it doesn't copy the foil part, maybe someone can let me know. Copies the ability. I bet you it doesn't copy the foil. Only copies base effect. Okay, so we'll do it this way. Because I was going to say, yeah, it means we are not going to get, you know, X9 worth of stuff on the first hand, but then it gets better. But yeah, okay. If it's only base ability, then we do it this way. <coughs> what? Oh, okay. Growing multiplier, but no, not at this point. Yeah, the negative lack of negative joker is going to be annoying. Extra large blind. We could reroll this, but you know what? It's fine. Well, this is a shitty opening hand. Or one spade or two clubs. I mean, it's mostly guaranteed. So I got the wild card. Oh, there we go. Another wild card in there. It doesn't really matter which side I pick here. Although I guess I should I should burn the uh, the clubs because they're less likely to happen. So we'll use three clubs and two wild cards. I 
I mean, a quarter million points on a not extreme hand here. And now we'll do this flush. Uh, not too bad. And then we'll do this flush. No, I'm not going to discard. And yeah, we're getting times 27 here, right? As long as we have enough base molt and we're getting it from the supernova. And the Wrathful Joker. Like, the clubs really aren't worth as much, but... Spades, baby, are paying off in... Oh, I wish there was an expression that I could use to say how much these spades are paying off for me. Achievement unlocked. Paying off in shovels, exactly. Permanently gain plus one discard per round. Okay, sure. Hello, Jupiter. And... I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll accidentally straight flush at some point. So it'll be good to have the extra multiplier there. Oh, maybe I should have done a smaller card. And maybe I should have rerolled there. Um, those numbers are crazy. I actually don't want a glass on this one. Because we're not getting our full multipliers, but... Unless I do a fairly... Inefficient discard. Half a million points would be pretty good, but geez, seven million. Now, this is lacking the Wrathful Joker, but. What is this horse shit? Oh, I got to get rid of that diamond. Yeah, uh, this, not, this one's going to be big because it's spades. We had too many club ones, but it's not going to be enough. Wow. Still not too shabby, huh? Yeah, we had to discard maybe more aggressively there. Green deck unlocked. New jokers unlocked. Oh, by having at least three wild cards. Actually, yeah, we can just skip through this. Hold on a sec. All right, so there's 150 different jokers to unlock. And that's like, it's nuts. And then, yeah, we've got. So the red deck is plus one discard. The blue deck is plus one hand, which is actually quite a lot stronger, I would think. Yellow deck starts you 10 bucks. Eh, not bad for acceleration. Green deck, end of each round, $2 per remaining hand, $1 per remaining discard. Earn no interest. Black deck, plus one joker slot, minus one hand. Ooh. Ooh. Magic deck, 
Start run with Crystal Ball Voucher, which is plus one consumable slot, and two copies of The Fool. Okay, so you'd start with two of The Fools and then one empty slot. So you'd buy something, play it, and that would let you play extra copies of it with The Fool. Win a run with blue deck, yellow deck. Okay, so I'm going to have to play with these different decks to unlock some content. If I go back to the red deck, though, so we've beaten on base on the base difficulty. Now I can do red stakes. Small blind gives no reward money. Wow. Anyway, pretty good game. Uh, we definitely don't have enough run uh, time to start another one. I wonder, uh, yeah, I was going to say, kiss for luck, and she's already started her pre-stream, which is good, because I was going to say, she might... Uh, want to start a minute or two sooner because we can toss things off to the, her. Yeah, other than that, presumably our next live stream is going to be on Wednesday. Um, hopefully. My voice is a little bit more stable. Than, but again, my throat doesn't hurt at all. It just sounds bad. Um, I am pretty drugged up right now. I got my cough syrup going on. I've got uh, a couple of different painkillers going on. Um, try to keep the fever down as well. Uh, which isn't, it's not crazy high. I think uh, this morning I was 38.4. It's not a high fever, but it's definitely a fever. And then, yeah, hope my plan, hopefully tomorrow, record some Vicky and some Dwarf Fortress for the Yub Tubs. So we'll see. Sounds sexy. You like that, uh, you like that raspy voice, huh? Like that's that sexy voice of, I smoke a pack and a half every day. Yeah. You see the trippy screen too. Yeah, this is pretty trippy. And yeah, some people didn't like the CRT effect. You can turn that off, um, by the way, if you don't love that. Just disable it and then you don't get the lines and the distortion. I thought it was fine. I mean, it's like such an indie game thing to do to have that. 30.4F. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, near freezing temperatures. <laughs> I, um, when I was doing some Unity programming, I do actually have a shader for that. I guess, oh, it highlights a random card in the middle. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and give a raid to A Kiss for Luck, who again is going to be playing Regency Solitaire today, which is an excellent game, and she has codes to give away. So be sure to give her some love, stick around for some codes, you can enter some draws, uh, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>